water into wine. Did God turn water, or Jesus turn water into wine? He's trying to display repentance to you. Christ turning water into wine is a similar to for something else. It has absolutely nothing to do with repentance. This is what repentance is. We sin. If we look at ourselves and we honestly assess ourselves, we are not good people. We, we fall short. We mess up. So Jesus actually says in Hebrews 10, 14, he perfected us forever because he sanctified us. So repentance is distrusting myself and trusting the word of God. Repentance means metanoia in the Greek. Meta means to transcend and noia means your mind. So we go above our mind. So stop trusting your mind and trust the All word right, of God. Let's show you what repentance is according to the Bible and not out of somebody's own mind. This is Ezekiel chapter 18 and verse 27. Again, when the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness that he hath committed and doeth that which is lawful. So according to God's law and right. He shall save his soul alive. But let's not stop there. Let's go to verse 30. Ezekiel chapter 18 and verse 30. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel. Everyone according to his ways, said the Lord God. Repent. Repent. And turn yourselves from all your transgressions, meaning turn from your sin. So iniquity shall not be your ruin. Verse 31. Cast away from you all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed, and make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? That's what repentance is. That's why Christ says this. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 4, and verse 17. It says, From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, meaning turn away from your sins, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Jesus turned water into wine because on the outside we see water, right? But Jesus says, no, it's wine. So our thoughts, our experience says, Jesus, what the heck, that's uh, just water. The water means something. Basically, it means the uh, the word of God. I'm going to go to Isaiah chapter 44 first. And verse, we'll start at verse 2. Thus saith the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. Because he chose the children of Israel. Verse 3. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. And floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed. And my blessing upon thine offspring. <clears throat> offspring. So. The water is the word of God. That's what it's talking about. It's the word of God. Now. Um, Isaiah chapter 55. Verse 1. It says, Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. And he that have no money, come ye buy and eat. Yea, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Hmm. Wine and milk. So when you read in Gen uh, Genesis 49, uh, in verse 12, it says, Christ's teeth will be white with milk, representing the law. And his eyes red with wine, meaning the understanding. That's why you see these things mentioned. Um, but let's get back to the video. What do you mean that's wine? Jesus says, no, I made it wine. The word of God says, I'm a new creature. So if I can distrust my experience and trust the word of God, 
that is how I can have that hope in my heart. Because if I look at my obedience, I fall short. That's why it says by one man's obedience, many were made righteous. The miracle is not just there for it to just be some right, random miracle. This, this uh, brother, I guess he's one of our brothers. What he's saying makes absolutely no sense. So let's go to where he went to originally. He went to John chapter 2. He was paraphrasing. Because the one brother asked, why did Christ turn water into wine? The whole thing is a similar to for us. Now, um, this is John chapter 2 and verse 6. And there were set there six water pots of stone after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three firkins apiece. Jesus said unto them, fill the water pots with water. And they filled them up to the brim. So the water represents the words of God. God's words and his laws. Everything that proceeded from his mouth. Um, verse 8. And he said unto them, Draw out now and bear unto the governor of the feast. And they bear So they got some wine and gave it to him. Um Verse 9, when the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine and knew not whence it was, but the servants which drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom and said unto him, every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine. And when men have well drunk, then that which is worse, but thou hast kept the good wine until now. So this good wine that's coming from Christ is talking about the understanding. It's the wisdom and understanding of the spirit that's coupled with the words of God. You understanding that. Now watch this. John chapter 4. And I'm going to go to verse, verse 10. So this woman is an Israelite. Of the northern kingdom of Israel. She's considered a Gentile. Um, verse 10. Jesus answered and said unto her. If thou knowest the gift of God. And who it is that give that saith to thee. Give me to drink. Thou wouldest have asked of him. Talking about himself. And he would have given thee living water. Living water. Verse 12. No I'm going to jump to verse 13. Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. Verse 14. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. So turning the words of God into the pure doctrine, into the pure wisdom and understanding that is given to Christ, who in turn is giving it to us. Him turning the water, the word, into wine, into pure understanding of the Father. Now watch this. I'm going to jump to Second Esther. One of the books that um, the Protestants removed. Second Esther chapter 14. <clears throat> watch this. Uh, second Ezra chapter 14 and this is well let me get there this is verse 22 I'm going to skip around a little bit but if thou have found grace before thee send the Holy Ghost into me that's the understanding and I shall write all that have been done in the world since the beginning which were written in thy law that men may find thy path, and that they which will live in the latter days may live. Living in that path of the Lord. Verse 25. And come hither, this is the Lord speaking back, and come hither, and I shall light a candle of understanding in thine heart, which shall not be put out, Till the things be performed which thou shalt begin to write. Now verse 39. Then I opened my mouth and behold he reached me a full cup. Which was full as it were with water. 
but the color of it was like fire. Mm. Verse 40, and I took it and drank. And when I had drunk of it, my heart uttered understanding. Remember, to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not this word, that means that there is no light in them. There's no understanding in them. There's no wine in them. Um, I'm sorry from the top again, verse 40. And I took it and drank. And when I had drunk of it, this water, my heart uttered understanding. And wisdom grew in my breast. For my spirit strengthened my memory. So that wisdom, that water was turned into wisdom and understanding, y'all. Wine. Verse, now, verse 47. For in them is the spring of understanding, the fountain, the fountain of wisdom and the stream of knowledge. So, that water being turned into wine is the word of God being turned into understanding, wisdom and understanding. That's what Christ did. Give, gave us wisdom and understanding according to God's word. One more scripture. The book of John chapter 7 and verse 37. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, if any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. Verse 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of of living water. So if you keeping the commandments and believe on Christ, out of your spirit is going to come wisdom and understanding. And you feed your people with that water, wisdom and understanding. With that, Brother Jacob saying shalom again.